Yes. And hello again. Same day as I've done the other one, or the other video that I've just put up. And I thought just out of uh, the weirdness of me doing things and showing it, that I would show you how to see if your bike is running correctly with the mixtures. So if it's running too rich, lean, whatever. Most of you might not already know this, but some of you mightn't, and it's a, it's, it's a handy thing to know. So I thought I would put it on. So here we've got the Suzuki. Took the cap off for the top of the glow plug. That's there, just slide that down there. Now, as we can see, we've got the glow plug in. The glow plug, I'm thinking diesel's now night most. Spark plug's in there. So basically this, this is simple, I shouldn't really have to inform you how to do this. So I'll just stick the camera on my knee as I'm trying to force this, get this out. Stick it on the ground so it doesn't fall. And it's loosened, which I've got the right way. Just take it out. Now as we can see, we've got it in the light. Now see how it's like a brown, nice like brick colour. That's the actual sign of it is actually running good, if it's like got that brick brown colour in. This is actually running ever so slightly rich, just ever so slightly, but it's better to run them slightly rich than overly lean out and do serious damage to the engine. See the thing is with two strokes, especially the racing ones, they run them right on the edge of them seizing. So it's basically as lean as they can get it without them blocking, well, seizing the engine up. And they never really lasted long in these race engines, did they? They replaced them every every race, so they were okay to do that, but on a normal bike you can't do that. Don't over tighten your spark plugs either, just nip them up slightly. Put the cap back on. And also, if you want to know like a reasonable way to tune these or tick over, if you find the tick over, well, not tick over, the mixtures. I can't really show you on this one because the carbs inside, it's got a rotary system. If you, I'll go around the other side actually. Screw in there. Screw it in, leans it, screw it out, makes it richer. Start screwing it in until you hear the engine revs just slightly, well, re rise to its um, highest RPM on takeover. You'll hear it. And then when it's just hit the highest and starts going back down, then turn it back out to where it's like the highest RPM again. And then go around about a quarter of a turn out from that. That's around about a safe setting to put them on. That's if you haven't got the factory settings like this one, I think was two, two turns out. And I've actually got it set to one and a half. That's the, the factory settings are way rich, except every carburetor is different, no engine. And if you think this has done 23,000 miles, so the main, the main actual needle will be slightly worn, so it'll be letting a bit more fuel out than it should have when it's on tick over, so that's obvious. So that's basically how you, how you tune a two-stroke. That's a single cylinder, if you had a multi-cylinder, you basically have to do the same, but on how many carbs you've got and well the tick over is adjusted with one screw for all the four carbs or three carbs or whatever you've got this one is adjusted here that's a tick over for this one so turn it in should self turn it out makes it opens up the venturi do venturi opens up the actual slide the speed the rpm off so that's basically it so that's it Oh, don't know why I'm doing these videos, now most you will think that's obvious, but you know, some people don't. But you all have to start off somewhere, so... That's that's a simple way of how to basically tune the mixtures on the bike and check if your mixtures are running fine. And I think that's it for this one. You get my band on, so no wonder I look like complete colour in it, but I don't care, my hair's a mess anyway. So it's either this, or get a big ginger mop of hair, what's mine, as you can see. So that's it. So over and out from now and I'll try and figure out how to ride this or mount the camera on while I'm riding this bike. So I'll see you till then. Oh,